Hi, my name is Travis, and I'm a program assistant at Beam. Today, we'll use the scale tool and the rotate tool in the software Cura to print a lovely figure. First of all, we're going to open the file. We're going to go on the top left corner of File, Open File, and then we're going to print this one. So we're going to select this and then click on Open. So here we have this lovely figure. All right, so first of all, we're going to talk about the scale tool. The scale tool will be on the left hand side on the toolbar, but first you have to click on the figure. After this, go on the toolbar and see the scale. Click on it and then you'll see the scale panel. So on this panel, you have several settings. First of all, you can change the X, Y, or Z axes in millimeters. For example, I'm going to change the X axis into 50 millimeters. As you can see, this figure becomes wider. The second way is to change the percentage scale. For example, if I'm changing the Y axis, I'll put in 200%. And as you can see, this object is getting thicker on the Y axis. Now, the third way to do it is just to simply drag on any one of these axes, and then it will just get bigger or smaller, as you can see. All right, if you want to reset, you can click on the reset button over here, and then it will just go back to its original size. Another setting is uniform scaling. Click on this, and then whenever you drag it, all the X, Y, Z, three axes will increase or decrease in scale at the same rate, no matter where you change the settings. And then snap scaling enables you to drag on the axes and then change by 10% increment every single time, as you can see. All right, one thing to notice is that you can see the blue lines around this printer. This is the actual physical boundary of the 3D printer. So you cannot let the object exceed the boundaries like this case. So in this case, you see this kind of um, lines across the object. This means that your object is out of bounds. So to fix this problem, you have to scale down until it changes back to its original color. And that's when you know it can print. All right, so we're going to move on to the next tool called the Rotate tool on the left-hand side. Click on it, and then you can see three rings again. So again, you can use your mouse and simply drag on these rings to change its orientation. Um, but then you can also reset, uh, and then it goes back to its original position. I'm going to talk about the Lay Flat option. So as we can see right now, this object is laying flat on the building plate. So lay flat means that your model will be placed flat on the surface of the build plate. So for example, if I change the rotation a little bit and I press lay flat, the computer is going to calculate the flat surface. And as you can see, it's laying flat on the feet because the feet is the only flat surface on this object. So the third way to do it is to select face to align to the build plate over here. So what this means is if you click on it, the rings will disappear, and wherever you click with the mouse, for example, I click on the head, the head will touch the build plate. So this is a way to manually select the flat surface, like the feet, to let it stand again. Why do we have to lay flat the object? It's because it helps with stability um, during the print, but it also avoids the use of support materials, which we are going to cover in another video. But for now, just remember, it's always ideal to place it flat on the surface. So if this is the object that you want to print and this is the correct position, we're good to go. So we're going to click on the slice button on the bottom right and just wait a bit until it finishes. And there we have it. 